If you look back to the flying sled video I made last winter, there are a lot of shots of the sled flying really close to the ground and kind of skimming along on a cushion of air. This is called ground effect, and it theoretically makes travel much more efficient than a traditional aircraft or a vehicle that comes in contact with the surface. I decided to add some wings to the flying sled in order to utilize the ground effect more efficiently. They make a big difference for the better. While in the ground effect, the sled needs less power than it did while flying higher up. Once summer came around, I added these steps on the bottom of the skis so that it was able to skim on the water. Sure enough, it worked well, but the water has more drag than the snow, so it was harder to stay in the ground effect. When the sled would come in contact with the water, a little bit more speed was lost. It was also harder to go in a straight line because if one side would touch down, it would pull slightly to that side. A couple of times it flipped over, but the electronics were waterproof so I was able to drive it back. It really liked to make gradual turns with only one float in contact with the water. Down, down elevator, it can go really fast. Woo, woo. <laughs> oh, that's a baby duck, don't want to hit the baby duck. Nice job. So I put this little hydrofoil on there that's made out of popsicle sticks. So that should keep it at a nice altitude to be in the ground effect. It worked and it was able to keep the sled up, but it also had more drag in the water so it wouldn't stay up on the hydrofoil for long. 
Come on. After that, I installed two popsicle sticks like this, just to see what would happen. It worked and was able to stay up on the sticks, but it didn't work as well as it did with no sticks. There aren't many videos of RC ground effect vehicles out there, so if anyone decides to explore this concept further and make a video about it, be sure to send me the link. Thanks for watching, bye.